Hey, you sexy bitch. Oh man, do I miss Dave Chappelle. Those were the days. So today I'm going to talk to you about the movie The Shallows. Now, I will admit, when I first saw the trailer for The Shallows, I did not really care to see it. Like I said, it looks very generic, basic, and the movie is trying to sell us on Blake Lively in a bikini. On the other hand, I decided to give it a go, and I will admit, you know, I was wrong. The movie has action, a character we can honestly get behind. It has pulse thundering scenes, beautiful shots with, and cinematography, and it's all wrapped up in this big old bag of fun in a way. So Blake Lively plays a surfer named Nancy who was about to have, you know, a really violent, grueling ex experience in her life. So she makes a vacation to escape from medical school after losing her mother to cancer. And Nancy's, she travels to, uh, I believe, South Mexico, south of Mexico, to find a secret, you know, surf spot where, you know, there's treasured photographs of her mom back when she was pregnant and flourishing were taken shortly, you know, before Blake Lively's birth. She is there to pay tribute to her mother, but instead she finds herself, you know, staring death in the teeth. She is stranded on a reef top rock, stranded, injured, fighting a shark, you know, the size of a school bus. And, you know, it's a that type of movie we've seen where there's a beautiful woman and she has to fight for her life. Honestly, um, that's all the movie really is. It's a simple plot, but damn, it really has everything a film could ask for. It has tension, struggle, you know, a hopeless character and hopeless circumstances, you know, and overall, it's very entertaining. And it was really entertaining and more entertaining than I was actually expecting. And this is the same director who's responsible for, you know, three Liam Neeson action movies, back when Liam Neeson was going through his action movie phase. Uh, it's the same director as Unknown, Nonstop, and Run All Night. In my opinion, he's a very underrated director. He even directed one of my favorite and yet underrated horror films, Orphan. But um, his technique here is uh, a slight step up of, above those films. Because, um, in my opinion, the scariest shots in the movie are the shots we actually don't see. Meaning, when someone is pulled underwater, and you wonder, when are they going to come up, and you don't see them, and that dark burgundy blood rises to the surface of the water, you know, Blake Lively has that look on her face like, oh my god, what's going on? So the director really knows how to create tension in this film. And between the big action beats and just... He leaves just the right amount of anticipation and imagination for the audience of what's coming next. Also, the movie is very good with the color tone and the camera shots throughout this movie because it is a gorgeous movie to look at. The tone starts out, you know, really bright with crystal clear blue water. Then it becomes, you know, really sinister, eerie and haunting. And the scenery, the waves and, you know, even Blake Lively, it all looks so good and memorizing especially Blake Lively. So these are my final Bitch and Buddha thoughts on the film The Shallows. Um, it's exciting to watch. It has decent tension. It holds your attention the entire time. Is it a classic like Jaws? No, I don't think so. But I think a lot of millennials... I feel like this is um, almost Jaws for the millennials in a way. But uh, however, it is better than all those recent shark movies that we've been getting lately. Like Sharknado, Sand Sharks, Three-Headed Shark Attack, Jersey Shore vs. Shark Attack, and pretty much any shark movie that goes straight to the sci-fi channel. At first, I you know, kind of put this movie in the same category as Bait with Shiny Vincent and Shark Knight, but I enjoy you know, this movie way more than those films. It's honestly the best shark film I've seen in ages. And if I had to give this movie a rating... I think I would give it, actually, no, I know I would give this movie a 9 out of 10. Seriously, it's that good. I enjoyed it. I had fun. It's a beautiful movie to look at. The shark is a dick, and, you know, the shark was really smart in a way. 
So and it's a typical plot you've seen many times, but damn, the director did a good job of really creating tension and scares. And this is a step up above his recent films. So I hope you all check out The Shallows. Um, I enjoy talking about it. Hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as I did. And, you know, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all have an amazing day as always. Uh, you know, and anyways, just check out The Shallows. I would highly recommend it. I hope you all have an amazing day as always. And remember, don't just get down, but get boogie.